So the Brahms First Symphony, uh, it's quite an amazing piece of music, and I don't, I'm not the first to say it, <laughs> nor will I be the last. Uh, it's amazing for a flutist, it's amazing for any player. Uh, the last chair of a 2D string section player is going to really have all they can handle on their plate, and it's musically such an amazing oh. piece of music. This is not a piece that requires a tremendous amount of technical practice uh, compared to most of the technical excerpts that an orchestral flutist has to deal with, but it certainly does reveal a lot about the sound. Uh, someone has to have great control. So when I play that piece, well. I'm definitely not in a contest with the French horn player, but I'm definitely in a balancing act. And for me, the, uh, I'm never going to be as loud as that horn player, but I am going to be as so full. A few of the non-solo excerpts that I would like to talk about are really critical from the standpoint of, first of all, being able to use a lot of control, a beautiful sound, but not necessarily, not nearly as loud and as full and as present as that one solo. One of the main issues that we have to deal with as a section member is how can I get the best out of myself and out of my colleagues. There are legendary stories about flute players and oboe players who sit back One to of the back. things that I, I wanted to talk a little bit about is flute ears that, that happens with every student. 95% of your playing is in a practice room alone. So you're practicing, you know. And so the most satisfying times for me were playing major triads in tune. And I have to say that to this day, I love an in tune major triad. <laughs>